Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Heroic Brick Studios. And before I actually got into the video, I wanted to make this little uh, little announcement, uh, little intro for you guys. Um, recently, we just passed 1,000 subscribers, and I cannot thank you guys more. <laughs> like, it truly warms my heart to know that a thousand people would like to tune into my channel and watch my videos because it, it's what keeps me motivated nowadays. Um, especially my friends, they're a huge part of that, like all my friends here in this community. And I want to thank them especially because you guys motivate me every single day. And I want to thank you, all of you guys, for, uh, for sticking around and watching my videos. And I hope you guys will stick with me going forward because, like I've said in the past few videos, I have some stuff that I'm working on that I'm not quite ready to announce yet. So when that day comes, I hope you guys will be here to see it because I'm very excited about it and I'm very sure that you guys will like it. So I think, uh, aside from that, the big and one big announcement right now. Uh, after this video, I plan on doing my first ever Q&A video. I've been waiting for a special occasion to do a Q&A, and, you know, I just hit a thousand subs, so I think might as well, you know, we'll see what happens. So, if you guys want to ask me a question that I'm going to answer in a video, then leave a comment down below on this video, or if you guys don't have a YouTube channel, you guys can go over to my Instagram, which I'll link down below, and if you guys find the post, the accompanying post to this video, uh, you guys can just comment on there and I will answer questions from my Instagram. So stay tuned for that. I'm very excited and I hope that you guys will ask me some questions because I can't really do a Q&A without questions for me to answer. So I think aside from that, we should just get into today's video. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, Heroic Brick Studios, and today I am bringing you guys another LEGO minifigure collection video. Now, this video, this collection in particular, I've been looking forward to for years, and I mean years. So, today I have my LEGO Avengers Infinity War minifigure collection video for you guys, and... Ah, uh, I'm just, I'm so excited, I don't even know, like, how to start this video. Uh, it's been three and a half years, almost, since this movie was first announced. This is the movie that the past 18 MCU movies have been leading up to, and I cannot be more excited right now. After all the reviews I've been hearing, everyone's saying it's great, and to be honest, I'd be surprised if it sucked. And I'm really sure that it's not going to, and I know I'm going to walk out of that theater with a big smile on my face that won't go away for like three days. <laughs> so, I'm just super excited for it. We have over 20 minifigures. I didn't actually do the exact number, and I should, I should have probably done that, but it's definitely over 20. There's going to be like at least 20, 25 main characters throughout the entire movie. And I wanted to throw in every major character that is in the movie and like we who we know is also in the movie because if you guys notice I have Hawkeye and Ant-Man in here and we haven't seen them in any in any promotional material but we know that they're in the movie so I think aside from that we should just jump right in starting off with this minifigure collection from the middle we have Iron Man all the way up here at the top we have Captain America or Nomad or Cap or Steve whatever he's going by I'm just gonna call him Cap so we got Iron Man, Cap, we have Thor, and he's wielding the Stormbreaker hammer, which we'll see probably at some point throughout the movie. And then we have Iron Spider, just Spider-Man right down there. Sorry if you guys can't really see him that well. It took me a while to arrange all these figures. And then we have Drax, we got Mantis, we got Black Widow, and we got Hawkeye. Now, I know this Hawkeye is from the Civil War set, and he's probably most likely going to have a different costume in this movie, but... It's the most recent Hawkeye, and it's my favorite Hawkeye variant, and we have no idea what he'll look like in Infinity War, or Avengers 4. Who knows if he has two different suits in both movies, so we don't know. But then also, moving along, right up here to the top, we have the big bad himself, the Mad Titan Thanos. I gave him the fully assembled Infinity Gauntlet, and I just, I can't wait to see what Thanos is going to be doing on screen. So, 
I'm just super excited for this movie in general, and Thanos is a big part of that because he's been built up as like this big bad since the first Avengers movie in 2012, almost six years ago. Like next week, it would have been six years ago. So that's absolutely crazy to think about. But I think that is it. Moving along to the left, we have pretty much all the other heroes in this movie. Uh, starting off from the top, we got the Hulk. This is just the Age of Ultron Hulk, like, because we didn't get, like, an Infinity War 1, and the most recent Hulk big thing that we got was the Gladiator Hulk from Thor Ragnarok, but Hulk doesn't have his Gladiator gear in this movie, so, <laughs> that's Hulk. Then we have Bruce Banner down here, I just wanted to throw him in. Then we got Scarlet Witch, I gave her the updated hairpiece, where her hair is, like, a more reddish, brown, ginger color. And then next to her, we have the Vision. We got the Falcon in the back. Uh, we got War Machine here. Uh, it's just the Civil War War Machine. We don't have the Infinity War one yet. So I hope that we actually get him. And then we have Ant-Man. Now, this Ant-Man figure is all the way from the 2015 set. But, you know, we haven't gotten another Ant-Man since then. We've gotten a Giant Man, but still, though, the suit's not that accurate. <laughs> and then we got Doctor Strange. We have Black Panther. Uh, we have... Uh, Winter Soldier or Bucky or White Wolf or whatever he's going by nowadays. Uh, this is a purist custom. Uh, I just took like the Loki torso from Thor Ragnarok, took a chrome arm and a gray hand and gave him his new arm with some brown pants. And it looks pretty much like Bucky's new outfit in Infinity War. And then wrapping this side up, we have Shuri, Black Panther's sister. And, like, one of my favorite parts of the Black Panther movie. I thought she was awesome. And then we have Okoye, uh, who was also shown on The Walking Dead. And Okoye was a great part of Black Panther as well. So I'm really excited to see her interactions with some of the other Avengers. So that is it for this side. Moving along to the final section of this whole minifigure collection, we have... Guardians of the Galaxy and Thanos' Black Order. So just starting off from the top, I'm pretty sure this is Call Obsidian up here, the big guy, and he's got the big hammers. And then we have Corvus Glaive down here with the hood, Ebony Maw, Proxima Midnight. Like, I think Thanos' Black Order look really sick, and I hope that we actually get some kind of development from them in the movie, because they're supposed to be Thanos' other children and Gamora and Nebula's other siblings. So... If they all have a scene together, I think it would be very interesting to see all their reactions, like the big family reunion. <laughs> and then, moving along, we have Nebula. Now, this is a purist Nebula. Um, it's just like the Gamora torso from like the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie set that she came in. I just turned it around because, you know, Nebula doesn't... The Nebula figure that we recently got last year, it's not accurate to how she looks in Infinity War. So, then we got Nebula, we got Rocket, we have... Teen Groot, or just Groot. I'm really excited to see him again in this movie. We got Star-Lord here, who's probably going to be a big part of the film, along with, like, Iron Man. And then we have Gamora down here wrapping up the collection, so... Man, I just, I cannot believe that we have all these figures. Now, before I wrap up this video, uh, of course, we have the new Hulkbuster in the back, and I can't wait to see the Hulkbuster back in action. I just think it would be really cool to see, like, that whole Battle of Wakanda sequence, I'm very sure is going to be, like, the biggest action set piece of the whole movie, and I cannot wait to see it on screen. So, I think with that, that is it for this minifigure collection. Thank you guys for watching, and like I said in the intro of this video, thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. Like, I, it is absolutely amazing that I've gotten this far, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So, if you guys are excited, leave a like on this video. And, uh, at the time of recording this video, I'm seeing Avengers Infinity War tonight. So, like, I am so freaking excited to go and see this movie. Especially after doing this video. And, <laughs> if you guys are excited too, make sure you leave a like and leave a comment telling me, you guys... Just tell me, like, out of all these minifigures, who's your favorite? For me, it would probably have to be either the new Iron Man or the new Spider-Man. Because I just, I love those costumes so much. And just let me know if you guys are excited in general for Avengers Infinity War, because I know I sure am. It's been ten years in the making, and I cannot believe that it's coming out tonight. 
we went from like <laughs> three and a half years to like three and a half hours <laughs> so I'm just I'm super 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 excited and I just I can't contain my joy right now so thank you guys for watching leave a like leave a comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already uh, follow me on all my social media platforms links are down in the description below and until the next video I'll see you guys later bye